Okay, in this video, I will configure directories and violation for hybrid deployment. So, the first thing that I would like to do is definitely switch to a computer where I will install it to connect. And here we have an AD connect here. The installation. Microsoft Azure already connect. We are configuring this with Express Setup, which is usually good enough. And then we can customize it later. Here I need to specify Azure Global Admin Credentials. The Admin Credentials in my case is AD Connect admin at itsense.on microsoft.com and I need to specify the password and it needs to be a global administrator it's trying to connect to Microsoft online to verify credentials All right. Now, enterprise admin credentials. So, we can do one thing though. Sorry, before we move on further, we can create one user here. Let's say AD Connect local. It could be any name. AD Connect. AD Connect is fine, and I would like to set a password. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. I will add it to the member of domain admins and. Enterprise admins. Okay. So its account name is AD Connected. I just start. Correct. So let's switch back here and say IT sense.net slash AD Connect. And password and now it's completing the credentials. UPN suffix is verified again because no problem in my case or in this example because the local domain name is itsense.net as well. So the default UPN suffix will be itsense.net. In case if you need to add it in your case, where the domain name is different, local domain name is different, then you can always, uh, sorry, you can always add alternative UPN suffixes here, and then you can change the user properties to make sure it's the default. Okay, so once we do it there, which is very fine. Next. I don't want to start synchronization straight away and I want to configure hybrid deployment. When I will say exchange hybrid deployment, it will configure a few things in my environment or in short prepare my environment for coexistence. Means I can have a mailbox, both type mailboxes, on prem on premise as well as in the cloud. And both environments will be able to work with each other like same global address list you know as well as calendaring information and exchanging emails and all. 
Okay, so install. And now it's installing it. And while the installation takes place, what I will do, I will pause this video and I will come back when it's done. Okay, installation and configuration is complete. However, sync is currently disabled because we, I just mentioned that during the setup that I don't want to sync it right now. So I'll click exit. And after that, go here. And here we have Azure Synchronization Service. Right, we'll go here, itsense.net, connect up, and just to tell you that these, these connectors are created by the setup, okay, uh, of uh, Azure AD Connect. So I will select the one which is belongs to the local domain. Right, and then go to the properties. Once I click the pro properties, go to directory partition, and goes to containers. Here I can specify again the username and password of the account. Which is what was that? AD Connect, right? And sorry. And okay. And here I can select what I want to sync. I don't want to sync everything or all entirely. I just want to sync Corp because all my users and groups that I want to sync, which I mainly killed about, is inside this organization unit. I'll click OK, OK again, and so far it's all good. I will run PowerShell, and let's start synchronization. And of course, to start synchronization, I may have to do few things though, um, because in my case, I think it's, uh, if you see here in the connectors, right, I can run it and it will show me the option like full import or full synchronization and all. Uh, another option, of course, is to use the command line, which I will show you here. Okay, so I will do PowerShell. get AD sync scheduler to see that status. Okay. And as you can see, sync cycle enabled right now is false. Next will be the initial one. So let's it start the synchronization for that. Set AD sync scheduler, sync cycle enabled to true. And let's see what happens. And if I say get AD sync scheduler again, now the sync cycle enable change from false to true. By default, it's 30 minutes. Uh, 
I would like to force the synchronization right now. So what I'll do, I will say start AD sync cycle. So start A D start A D sync sync cycle. Sorry, it was the typo. So yeah, and the result is success. Right? Sync sync cycle. Sorry about that. Let me update my notes. All right. So start in sync cycle. One option, of course, some of you, if you remember in older version, like task schedule. I'm not sure task schedule it still works, but let, let's have a look. Otherwise, we have an option here. You know, I can say run. And I can say full import or full sync. And it's running the full sync. Okay. Okay, so Active Directory Synchronization is completed and I can see all my on-premise users are appearing under Office 365 portal. And as you can see the status for all these users, like JSON Hazelwood, Sarah Jones, is sync with Active Directory. So they are synchronizing. So do my groups. I have some security groups there. And they are also synced with AD, so which is a good sign that the Active Directory synchronization is working. So it means now we can move on to next step, and the next step is configuring hybrid wizard.